Hey guys, Country here, Country's Custom, and it's wax slug time. Um, making up a few, gonna go shoot later on this week, hopefully. Uh, just, I'm not gonna show you guys a video on how to do it. Everybody knows how to make wax slugs. There's hundreds of videos on YouTube on how to do it. What I do want to show you guys is my burner pot that I use to melt the wax. Um, as you guys know, I do everything really cheap. Heck, look at my uh, tripod set up there. Isn't that nice? But what I use is a large steel can, tin can, whatever you want to call it. I believe this one had uh, corn in it. And you cut a hole. You put your candle in and out of, and then you cut another hole in the top of it. You don't actually open the can. You just cut the hole in the top and then dump everything out. Then you use, I've got Allen wrenches here, but you use something to space it. Space your wax pot up off there that allows the hot air that comes off the flame to circulate and to heat your wax up without actually making it boil then like I said this is just a half of a tin can like a, a smaller can of corn that I cut in half put your wax and shot in and it melts nicely and this is how I do mainly I've got about 10 or 15 uh, shells worth of shot in there right now and uh, does really nice um, well you can put a whole lot of shot in wax in here and uh, melts it fairly quickly you know just just light it and keep an eye on it watch TV or something while it melts um, that's fine I use uh, Gulf wax it's what I've always used um, I want to try the crayon thing there's a few people doing it and I don't do much high speed but uh, you can I believe you can also add food coloring to this wax and get the same effect as like a crayon per se but alright guys, just wanted to show you my wax burner, wax melter, whatever you want to call it there, that I use to make my wax slugs. Alright guys, let me know if you have any questions. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos, and I'll try to keep them coming.